Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today we'll be reviewing an item a fan requested here that I should do on my YouTube channel. <laughs> and you guessed it, it's Authentics Bravo. Soundwave, Soundwave Superior, Autobots Inferior. That's my Soundwave impression. But before we look at the figure itself, we're gonna look at the packaging. We got get we get some nice artwork of Soundwave. Sorry if I have to correct myself there. My head went all screwy again with my autism. <laughs> And there we have Authentic Bravo Soundwave in vehicle mode. It says Soundwave 6 Plus Hasbro Transformers Authentics. And there we got some more product shots of Soundwave, how to transform him. And a bio if you wish to read it. Evil Decepticon Spy. Boss. Or a lot of words to say, but Decepticon Soundwave is Megatron's right hand bot. And there we have the transformation steps, which I remembered right off the spot. But now we're going to get down to comparison because that's all there is to say for the packaging. But before comparison, does he roll? Oh yeah, he rolls. For comparison, here he is next to Authentix Bravo, Megatron, and Starscream. And Starscream is shorter. I am a fan of Megatron, Starscream, Soundwave, and all that. I think in Authentix Bravo, they should definitely do a deluxe class sound wave because we need a sound wave in our we need a ratchet in our life you know I'm, wait sorry correction error the second time on this channel we need a bigger star scream in deluxe scale in this line Whew, my head is really confused today so this is what it looks like like next to a small one. Correction there too. But now we're going to get down to transformation for Soundwave. We're going to disconnect his satellite dish, disconnect the gun, and we're going to work on his upper body. We're going to start with the legs because that, the, the upper body, Fold down his hood. Fold down the legs a bit. <laughs> so you can get him nice and perfectly transformed. Fold down his arms, which is very simple. Pull him on the ball joints. Downwards. Can we get it? We got it. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Second, flip down these shoulder pads. Leave enough space so you can attach his satellite dish. And yes, he is a version of, like, Cyberverse Soundwave, which I do not own. But he's Soundwave, for Pete's sakes. He's Megatron's communications officer. But there's what he looks like in his robot mode. You can have him with the shoulder cannon option if you want me I'll probably give him the it as a gun because it doesn't do very well as a shoulder cannon it's just too long to be a shoulder cannon and now you go pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang but now we're gonna get down to robot mode comparison we're going to compare him next to Megatron, which I know how to transform because I've messed around with him so many times. It's like no problemo to transform him. But 
but we're going to show him what he looks like next to Leader Megatron. Which I almost got him transformed. And I'm having trouble with the head here. Now I got it. But here is Soundwave next to Authentics Bravo Leader Megatron. And they look great together. Leader and communications officer together to kick Autobot skin plate and to conquer the Autobots. But now we're going to compare him next to Authentics Bravo. You guessed it, Starscream. I love using that word. Star scream, the mighty. And his null ray just popped loose. Star scream, how come you can't hold your null rays? Maybe there's something I'm doing wrong here. And his wing keeps popping off. So sorry if this video has taken longer. Come on, Screamer. Keep. Hold yourself together. And here we have him next to Air Commander Starscream. <laughs> and that is my Starscream imitation. Pretty gnarly, isn't it? And I do a mean imitation of Soundwave, too. I am Soundwave. I am Superior. Autobots inferior. I couldn't help the voices in this video. I'm having a lot of fun with these. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? Well, I got this figure at Dollar General for 10 bucks. Is he worth adding to your Authentics Bravo Transformers collection? Yes, pick him up. And thank you, my fan on YouTube, who told me to check this figure out. He was worth it. Thank you, you rock, and thank you for subscribing to this great review channel. Megatron, stand on the double. Megatrons, keep standing. <laughs> Sorry, Megatron's having the tipsies today. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he is worth adding to your collection. Now this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out.